What's up, guys? Welcome to local band Smokeout. Smokeout. Any genre from, from anywhere in the entire world. I, I want to hear your music. Bam. I think we're ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, and Greg! Give me a hell yeah! Yes! What I know. Brad, my name is BG. This is my buddy Heart Divided. He's my special co-host today. But if you could do, uh, give, do us a favor and properly introduce yourself, let me know whereabouts in the world you are right now. Plug and promote anything and everything. Yeah, so uh, my name is Brad DiLorenzo. I do vocals uh, for a band called Engrave. We're from Detroit, Michigan. Um, man, unfortunately, I, we just did our big stuff that I would be promoting. Um, <laughs> well, but, what was uh, the yeah. big stuff that just happened? What did we miss? Uh, we just did uh, our first headliner ever, uh, which was super sick. Um, Congratulations. And we uh, played out in Ohio, too, with our boys in uh, a band called Midwinter. Uh, super sick band, if you haven't heard them. God, check them out. Um, yeah, it was super, super sick. Um, we've never had shows as big as we just did. So, How big are we super talking? Exciting. Like We're talking like hundreds and hundreds and more? No, that's too crazy, but... Um, the years leading up to this, we've always played to like, you know, 40, 50 people. Um, and we did uh, our headliner in our hometown. We sold like over a thousand dollars worth of tickets. They didn't give us an actual number. Wow. Thank you. Yeah, it was super cool, man. Super cool experience. Is that all because of the success of Alive and, and now Gin just taking off? Yep. Yeah. TikTok has done absolute wonders for us. It is crazy. <laughs> let's let's start right there. So, so is it safe to say six months to a year, a year ago, you guys weren't on TikTok and or just taking it seriously. Yeah, we uh, we were always trying to, uh, you know, get to that next level, but we just didn't even really understand what to do. You know what I mean? Um, so thankfully, we have a lot of people like in our corner that have really showed us, you know, the right path. And uh, yeah, I think in September of last year, I quit my uh, dead end job. I was working, just kind of had an epiphany and just went crazy posts on TikTok and uh, just plugging all the social stuff. And it's been uh, yeah, night and day difference for sure. That's awesome. Hell yeah. Hart, uh, do you have a question for Brad? Yeah. Um, amazing songs. I love them. Thank you, man. Um, I really like listening to bands that have um, good emotion behind their songs and gives their listeners something to connect to. Um, the first time I heard Alive, I just felt all the emotion in that song, and it really got me hooked on it. I was listening to it probably back to back uh, for a whole week straight. That's Can you awesome. talk on sort of the inspiration behind um, your lyrics and sort of where your mind goes to when writing music and that process? Yeah. So, um, funnily enough, Alive is. I mean, obviously, it's a it's quite different than the rest of our discography uh typically our lyrics are pretty dark and um just kind of me like exploring my you know mental health struggles and stuff like that um and alive is the same way it's just in a different like a more positive spin um it kind of just like you know through everything i still am here i still feel alive you know we're still pushing um but yeah the main the main thing that i always kind of think about is uh, I know when I was growing up listening to bands that had, you know, that kind of emotional, like lyric content helped me realize that I wasn't the only one that felt that kind of stuff. Um, so it's really, for me, my biggest thing is I want other people who feel that way to know that they aren't the only ones that experience that kind of stuff. Um, and that there is a way out, uh, and a release for that. I, I noticed that a lot of the, a lot of the stuff in, in your guys' catalog, like going back further is really really heavy and it seems oh, yeah. like that it's now becoming a good blend of of cleans mixed with the heavy do you guys find that that's kind of the direction you're going from here on out is, is like blending oh, the yeah. two more yep um so when we first started our first ep um i was super uncomfortable with singing i mean i did it in my own time mm. like just to bands i like and stuff but as far as putting my own voice on a track i was not gonna do it uh and then uh yeah with the more that we uh wrote music uh because defeat comes with time which is on our first ep that was the last song we wrote for that ep so 
which is why I ended up singing on it. We got a lot more comfortable. And uh, our producer, we work with uh, Landon from The Plot New. He uh, yeah. produces our stuff. Um, and he really pushed me to jump out of my comfort zone and do some stuff that I wasn't used to. And I'm really glad he did. Did he tell you any, you're talking about Landon Tours, right? Yeah. Did you, did he t tell you any, any like vocal tricks to try just to kind of soothe the voice to hit notes that maybe you weren't normally in your comfort range? We kind of did try, um, cause a big thing that, I mean, I've always looked up to Landon since I was young. I spent a long he's, time. He's a legend. Band. He's a legend. Oh yeah. Um, so, you know, his huge screamy vocals that are the singy screamy stuff. Um, that was what I always wanted to emulate. And, uh, we did kind of try to go back and forth, but the funny thing about vocals is like a lot of us really have no idea how we're making the noises that we're doing. So, <laughs> um, it was just kind of like he would kind of scream and I just kind of like try to listen to what was going on. You know what I mean? Um, so that's as far as that went really. I just kind of, just a lot of sitting in my room and, uh, just kind of wailing. <laughs> I see you got a, a signed Bad Omens album behind you. Did you get, did you do oh, like yeah. a meet and greet or something to get that or? Actually, that was they were just selling that at a, a show. My girlfriend, I'm a huge Bad Omens fanboy, and uh, for my birthday last year, she took me to go see them, and they were selling those, and I had to pick one up. Hell yeah, good call. I uh, wish I met them. Oh my god. I know we kind of like briefly discussed the uh, the hot sauce. Did you find any form of of loophole? I couldn't. I, I ended up having to work, so I got home at like six o'clock and then setting up all this stuff uh i did not end up finding a loophole for that okay so we'll say this heart you brought your coca-cola correct and hot sauce you you be on brad's team so he's gonna take the fall yes, for you if, you if you don't so we're, we're counting oh, on you brad to get the trivia okay. right but if if not i will consume some hot sauce but brad you get to pick the trivia topic is there a particular a uh, movie or TV show that you've seen so many times, you cannot get stumped if I ask you trivia on this movie or TV oh, show. Man, I am historically terrible with watching TV shows and movies, so my safest bet is going to be The Office. But okay, it's been several years, so we'll see. We'll see. Office heard, and I'm I'm uh, almost done with season six. I'm actually doing a a from beginning to end watch through right now, and I'm almost done with mm. season six. But uh, Hart, go ahead and shoot off a question while I look up uh, some office trivia. So going to how Landon kind of coached you um, with different vocal styles, I noticed that um, through your um, library, you do range in vocal techniques. Um, can you give chat tips to achieve certain vocal techniques, whether it's like drinking warm tea or... Um, different um stretches or yeah um so my biggest thing would be do not smoke um caffeine is also a huge a huge one that a lot of people don't realize um i used to smoke a lot i don't at all anymore it's done wonders for my voice uh, yeah. i've also cut back on caffeine just so much um because the last couple of shows we played, I could just feel, you know, it wasn't there and it was embarrassing, really. Um, so that's my biggest thing is just take care of your body and uh, be careful. If it hurts, stop. You don't you will do damage. Um, it's just it's a slow game because screaming is such a weird uh, vocal style. Um, so definitely just take it careful and uh, take care of yourself. First and foremost, it's the biggest thing for your voice. Do your knuckles say the 1975? They say they say 1975. Yeah, my mom was born that year, so that's uh, for her. Oh, cool! Well, shout out, mama! Hell yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> um, boy, heart, man. Chat. Lizzie wants to know what it feels like to be played on uh, serious octane, dude. Unreal. It's actually funny that you asked me that. Um, my girlfriend runs a cleaning business, and I help her out when she uh, needs an extra hand. And we were at someone's house today, and they just left the radio on for their dogs. And it came on, and it was such a weird feeling because I was just doing a job, and then my band was played on the radio. Um, yeah, absolutely surreal. That's when you were like, "That's it, I f quit, I quit, yeah, I'm yeah, out." Yeah, exactly. That day, totally you had down. the epiphany. That day, <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah, yeah, absolutely insane. Well, let's try to stump you on some of this. Uh, I'm, I think this is an easy one. This is gonna be an easy one on the office to judge how long it's been since you see it. Oh, In the office. There's an episode called The Injury, 
What does Michael Scott do to get himself injured? He uh, steps on a George Foreman grill. That is correct. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Hart, we're doing hot sauce. Here we go. Or you don't have to. I do. You don't have to. I'll do it. Bottoms up, DJ. <laughs> All right, so now I know oh, yeah. I got to go a little harder on the second one. A little yeah, harder on the second one. Insights. <laughs> <laughs> Brad, talk to me about what, what the band has planned in 2024 that you're allowed to tell us about that we can look forward to. Uh, well, on uh, with the Thursday, actually, we're going back to Landon's place. Um, and we're going to finish up this song we're working on. Uh, I can't say what shows we have lined up, but there are a bunch um, in our area, out of the area, so it should be super sick. Unfortunately, I can't say very much because most of it uh, is under wraps for later in the year, but uh, yeah, lots of music is coming, and uh, we're trying to play as many shows in new areas as we possibly can. When you when you go work with Landon, is it just one single at a time? Uh, yeah, typically, um, just and- because that's kind of the way that the music world is shifting yeah um, do you do pre-pro so, with them too or do you come with a, like no, a, a we'll, rough yeah um, it, i guess it kind of depends we we wrote alive together um which i think that one's pretty is influence is pretty strong on that one um but yeah typically we come with a demo or uh even fully fleshed out songs that we just want to kind of change and fix um so yeah so i got a question on that uh working with um landed and you go to him with your stuff. Um, how much influence do you let him put on to your mixes? And I ask because I work with two members of New Year's Day. And when I send them my mixes, um, I'm not educated enough in mixing and mastering to know exactly what to ask for. So I'll say, you know, go nuts, guys. So how much influence do you let him have on uh, the end result of your music? Uh, all of it. He, as well as producing, he mixes and masters our music as well. Um, so, uh, yeah, if he, we take his opinion very seriously. So if he thinks a, a part should go, uh, we, I will always talk about it first. But uh, most of the time, if he's telling us something sucks or whatever, we are inclined to believe that it isn't that good. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. <laughs> yeah, he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's talking oh. about. So, hell yeah. Well, I got one more trivia question for you cause, uh, on the office because I'm determined to uh, just say I at least jumped you one time. So here we go. All right, let's do it. What is the name of the band that Kevin plays in? Oh, um, oh my God. It has something to do with their town name. I know that. Like Scranton. Oh. I can't remember. Dang, you were so close! Scrantonicity. 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 Uh, don't worry, we'll, we'll both do hot sauce one more time just because uh, it's it were fun. Cheers. <laughs> have you ever have you ever asked Landon to maybe just, you know, when you want to throw down some vocals on this one, dude? You, you want to get down on yeah. the song? Yeah, we've, we've tried. Sick. Um, I think he's more open to it now. I think at the time uh, when we started working with him, we actually were a totally different band. Um, we went by a different name and, uh, we were just trying to finish, uh, like some project that we were doing. And then when we wrote a couple of songs with him, we were like, wait, these are way better. Uh, so we completely changed our name and everything and started fresh. And, uh, back then I don't think he was as open to it, but now I think, uh, I wouldn't be too surprised if he is on one of our tracks in the future. What, what were you guys called before that? Thank you, pretty. Uh, it was called Burton Hollow. It's not good. You can find it. It's not good. What is it called? Bert, <laughs> Burton Hall? Burton Hollow. Burt, burnt and Hollow. How, how did you come up with Burton Engrave? Like, what was the, what's the meaning behind it? Uh, nothing really. Uh, we just <laughs> wanted a good one word name. Uh, I, it got to the point where I was genuinely going through the dictionary, just looking for uh, decent names that weren't already like 10 other bands and that didn't sound like really crazy. <laughs> for sure. Totally makes sense. Well, we got time for a couple more. Uh, Hart, is there one final one that you wanna you wanna ask? Yeah. Uh, did you touch on how you met Landon and how that relationship started? Actually, um, our drummer Austin just randomly hit him up. He knew that he uh, this was in 2020 or the end of 2019, maybe. Um, 
he just happened to know that he was producing bands and uh, he sent us some demos or he sent Landon some demos that Landon really liked. And uh, he lives very close to us. So he was like, yeah, let's we'll get you in for sure. And then from there, we just went from uh, working together to just being actually really good friends now, which is really cool. Uh, yeah, he's the man. And uh, what advice on um, writing lyrics can you give to someone who's just starting out writing lyrics uh cadence is a big thing you don't want to uh put too many words in too small of a space or vice versa you don't want to have really open uh slow verses Um, yeah it's definitely a tough balancing act where uh you want to make sure everything fits and you're not overdoing it Uh, that's my biggest thing because i used to really just cram vocals in every spot I could and then you go to play it live and you just can't get a breath and it's awful <laughs> so now that now that things are kind of like slowly taken off for you guys do you do you guys ever talk about like yearly goals like we want to be here and oh, yeah. d- done this by 2024 can you share any of those yeah so uh our goals by 2024 uh we're really hoping that we either do like a week long tour or longer. We really want to, our main focus is just touring, uh, hitting the ground running and getting in front of people. So, um, you guys, you guys aren't signed at the moment. No, sir. Cool. Well, hopefully I imagine some, somebody has become calling soon here. I would, I would guess. Fingers crossed, man. Yeah. Fingers hopefully. crossed for sure. Cause I, <laughs> I, I was jamming a bunch of your stuff earlier today and it's just banger after banger after banger, like in a row. Thank you, dude. I really appreciate that, man. Yeah, I think things are going to work out, man. But uh, we appreciate your time. Thanks for, for hanging. I'm glad I was able to stump you at least once here yeah. on the Office Trivia. Um, thanks for just opening up and, and you know, getting personal about, about Alive and what it means to you and, and, you know, just the plans that you guys have for 2024. And I think things are going to work out, dude. So keep yeah. at it. Keep Thank grinding. You. Thank you, man. Thanks for having me. It was really cool. It's my pleasure. If it's okay with you, I put this on YouTube tomorrow. Yeah, man. Absolutely. Hell yeah, excellent, cool. Ladies and gentlemen, Brad of Engrave! Give me a hell yeah! Thank you, guys. Thanks, brother. Thank you. Cheers.